All right, guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to shoot a bullet, but there are a couple of problems with our program. Right now, we can shoot only one bullet at a time, and that's it. That's it for the whole game. So that's a pretty big problem. And the second problem is that the bullet is always following our spaceship. Doesn't matter where it go, bullet will follow it. And we want it to have an individual path. So for example, we want it to have, we want the bullet to have the starting point of our spaceship, the X coordinate of our spaceship. But when we move the spaceship, the bullet should continue on its original X coordinate and not of our current spaceship. So these are two problems we are gonna solve. So let's solve the first problem first of having multiple bullets. So for that, what we are gonna do is uh, we are gonna add an if condition. So right now, if you watch over here, when the bullet goes up, it goes to the zero coordinate and then we are not doing anything to the bullet. So it just keeps on going into negative values and we are not removing the bullet from our screen. So what we need to do is as soon as it crosses the zero coordinate, we need to make sure that it resets to the value of 480. So as soon as, soon as it goes above zero coordinate, two things are gonna happen. First is gonna reset to 480 pixels of Y. And the second thing is because you can't see it on the screen anymore because it has gone beyond zero uh, Y coordinate, we are gonna change the state of our bullet to ready again so that we can fire it the next time. So let me just add an if condition beneath this bullet movement which says if bullet y is less than equals to zero because above zero is going to be negative values and over here we are going to do th two things first is we are going to reset the state of the bullet that is the bullet y should be reset it to 480 again and the second thing is we need to change of the bullet state so bullet state is going to be ready again and uh, let's make sure that we don't misspell anything and we are gonna format this properly, press enter and now let's reload it and you'll be able to see that our bullet is multiple. So right now you can see we have shot one bullet, then we can shoot another bullet and it keeps on happening. And now that we have fixed the first problem, let's focus on the other problem and that is that the bullet is following our spaceship. So why is this happening? This is happening because in our code, we are still using the player X value. So if we go to our space condition so after pressing space we are using the player x value and even in our while if condition code of over here we are still using the player x value so it's all right that we want the starting position of our bullet to be at the spaceship let me just remove this recording thing so at the starting position we want the bullet to be at the x coordinate of our spaceship so when you press space the bullet starts from the spaceship and not from somewhere else so for example over here we want the x coordinate of our bullet to be that of the x coordinate of our spaceship but when we move after firing the spaceship the x coordinate shouldn't follow the spaceship so that is the problem that we are having so how do we solve that so instead of using the bullet the space player x value everywhere we just use when we press the space bar one value of the x coordinate just should be just saved so we're going to do that we are just going to write bullet x we haven't used this variable yet and we are going to save the value of player x over here and then instead of player x we are going to send the value of bullet x to our fire bullet function and we are going to do the same thing over here in our if condition so instead of player x you are going to use the value of bullet x and that should solve the problem so let's run our main program again and see if it works so this is our spaceship and now if we move our spaceship the bullet is not following our spaceship so we had, what we have done is when the space bar is pressed then we have saved the current spaceship x coordinate inside our bullet x variable and then we are using that everywhere instead of just using player x so now that we have fixed that there is one more problem to fix which i've just realized so the problem is that after pressing if we press the bull space bar again so for example we have pressed the space bar the bullet is going and then if you press the space bar multiple times this bullet is going to change just keep on moving according to our uh, spaceship so multiple space bar changes its uh, x coordinate and why is that happening so while the bullet is in moving condition it's in fire condition even in that condition we can press our space bar so we have to make sure that we can only press the space bar when it's in ready condition so we are going to add a if condition over here which says if bullet state is uh, ready let's add double quotes for the string if 
the bullet state is ready only then we can fire another bullet otherwise we can't fire another bullet so after our bullet goes above the zero coordinate or our bullet is in ready state only then we can fire another bullet so now if we press space all the errors have been fixed except this first one i don't know what happens to us sometimes uh, all right so let's shoot and you can see that after it has crossed the zero coordinate and it resets to 480 y coordinate again only then we can shoot another bullet so this is looking pretty good guys uh, we have finally completed the bullet module this was a pretty long module because there were a lot of uh, complications in it and a lot of things to understand so let me just recap so that you guys can understand everything properly so if anybody has understood everything perfectly you guys can just stop this video so what happens when we press the space bar when we press the space bar first it checks whether a bullet is already on the screen or not if it's not on the screen then it makes sure that it gets the x coordinate of our spaceship let me just add a comment so that you guys can understand get the current x coordinate of the spaceship so it gets the current x coordinate of the spaceship and stores it inside this variable bullet x and then it fires the bullet using this bullet x variable and this bullet y variable basically which we have set before that is 10 so we want the bullet to move at the speed of 10 or change its y value at every while iteration at 10 So after we do that it goes to this fire bullet function and over there it changes the state to fire and then it creates that bullet after it changes its state to fire it goes to this while loop iteration and it check it says if bullet state is fire and it keeps on firing the bullet if we don't have this fire underscore bullet statement then the bullet won't appear on the screen so anything that we want to be persistent inside our game needs to be included inside our while loop that is why we have this function inside our while loop if this statement was not there the bullet wouldn't be there so that is why we need to make sure that the bullet is continuously appearing on the screen after every iteration of while loop so after it fires the bullet and it keeps on changing its y coordinate because of this statement it happens that it goes above the screen so after it goes above the screen this if condition is activated and it resets the bullet to for 80 y coordinate and then it resets the bullet state to ready again and then we can press the space bar again and everything happens again basically it saved again the x coordinate of a spaceship but i'm not going to go into all of that So guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to create multiple enemies so right now there is only one enemy so it's very easy for our uh, uh spaceship or maybe depending upon what i want and maybe i'm going to teach you guys how to shoot this enemy so right now this enemy uh can pass through the bullet and nothing is happening to him so we are going to probably discuss that in the next video so i'll see you over